George Balanchine's jewels is gold for the dancer and each act is stylistically so different in and of themselves. You have emeralds, which is refined and I say mysterious. It's soft, it's lyrical. You have rubies, which is as American as it sort of gets. It is a take on New York. Um, it's jazzy, it's confident, and then you have diamonds, which is regal and broad and presentational. So regardless of what ballet or what excerpt of jewels the dancer dances, um, it's, it's gold. And then you have the music. So emeralds and forays, very French very Paris. Stravinsky's Rubies is piano and jazzy. You feel like you're in a downtown jazz club in New York. And then for Diamonds, you feel like you are uh, in St. Petersburg with Tchaikovsky. So Jules is a huge opportunity for the Australian Ballet. It's the Australian Ballet premiere. And the full-length Jewels has only ever been seen in Australia once, so it's a really big moment for the company. It's a really big moment for audiences to see this work. This work has been around since 1967, and it's time that the Australian Ballet takes on this piece of repertoire and presents it to Australian audiences here um, in Sydney and Melbourne. I feel the company is surging with confidence, surging with an individuality of interpretation and artistry. And I can't think of a better moment for the dancers to tackle this choreography, to learn from Sandra Jennings, who has come to teach the ballet, and to come on stage in all of this found confidence and individual interpretation and to surge forward with this beautiful work. Jules is a perfect addition to our 60th anniversary. It's, it's big, it's beautiful, and it really shows off the Australian ballet of today in a piece of repertoire that is so important to classical ballet in and of itself. So while we celebrate our 60th, while we charge forward in 2023, Jules is a beautiful work to come and see the Australian ballet at its very best.